So that certain Aquaman starlet has yet another narrative torn down completely as another voice in Hollywood stands up to speak, and you know who they back? J.D. They say he's not the one that tore down his career. She is. She's not happy about this either. Her team goes after this guy hard. They look terrible to the jury in the process. Yeah, check this out. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. Oh man, so hey there. And before we get started, check out our project. There is a link in the description. We have a way to counter industry. We build up alternatives. Check ours out. Walk away from these companies. Thank you. So the first thing that this guy does is he stands up for J.D. And he absolutely demolishes this narrative. J.D., he can't remember his lines anymore. He has to have an earpiece. Yeah, about the earpiece. Mr. Wyatt, has Mr. Depp ever worn an earpiece in any of the movies in which you've worked with him? Yes, he has. When was the first time you used an earpiece with Mr. Depp? First time we used it was on uh, a movie he was directing called The Brave. Um, we were doing a scene with uh, Marlon Brando, who wears an earpiece for receiving his dialogue. He, uh, Marlon uses an earpiece for uh, for his dialogue, and it was a long shooting day. And we let uh, Johnny, as the director, let Marlon go after we shot Marlon's section of the film, and then to for Johnny's character to act against something other than just a blank nothing, we put Marlon's performance in an earpiece in, into Johnny so he could act up against Marlon's performance. Did Mr. Depp ever use an earpiece for some other purpose other than listening uh, to Mr. Brando's dialogue? After that, we started using an earpiece all the time um, where Johnny would listen to music while acting. Ooh. Um, we would play all different kinds of music depending on the character. He was uh, he was playing. He and I would talk about it beforehand, and it sometimes it'd be classical, sometimes it'd be rock, sometimes it would be blues. It depended on the character. To what extent, if any, did you and Mr. Depp use that process in other movies in which you worked together? We used that on every movie. Mr. Wyatt, on those occasions, in addition to feeding Mr. Depp music, did you ever read lines to him? Yes. Why did you read lines to Mr. Depp? Um, Johnny typically likes to go into makeup in the morning and write his own dialogue and rewrite his dialogue. So sometimes there's not enough time to always to, rem you know, to remember the lines and learn them. So I would remind him in his ear sometimes. While, while music was playing at the same time. And Mr. White, in your long experience working with Mr. Depp on films, how would you describe his level of preparedness on the set? He's absolutely prepared. He knows what he wants the character to be. He, he collaborates with the, act, uh, with the director on what, um, what his ideas are, but he always comes very prepared. Now, that certain Aquaman starlets team, oh, they didn't like that at all. So they wanted to come out swinging. This, it comes across terribly, too. I want to play you a little bit of that. I mean, look at how combative this is. And the judge, crazy enough, actually allows this. Listen to this here. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Mr. White, you testified that you've been a sound technician for pretty much most of your career, right? Yes. Okay. And let's go to that Marlon Brando. <laughs> that He used an earpiece for his lines to be fed to him, correct, at that yes. time? And when was that? When was the Brave filmed? Uh, Mid-90s. Okay. And so ever since then, Mr. Depp has thought it was a good idea and has used an earpiece, correct? He has used an earpiece, yes. Okay. It was and a good idea. Look at his career. You're the person who controls what goes into his earpiece. Is yes. that correct? Okay. So it could be music. It can be lines. It can yes. be anything, right? Yes. Okay. And you have been his sound technician since the 1990s all the way up through at least 2016, correct? There's been a couple of us, yes. Okay. But, but you actually have been on almost all his movies, haven't been you? Been on most of them, probably, Okay, yes. and in fact, not only are you his personal sound technician, not but his personal, you are named it's the studios. in his contracts as his sound technician, correct? I don't know that. 
Okay, well, let's pull up. Objection, let's foundation. Number. Let's go to 633. And I'm going to show you what has been marked as Defendant's Exhibit 633, and it's the contract for Pirates of the Caribbean from August 2022. Objection, foundation. Uh, Objection, lack August. of foundation. Yeah. I'm sorry? Lack of foundation. I didn't get, I didn't get uh, his answer. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, go ahead. Allow what? How does this guy know it's in Johnny Depp's contract? It says August uh, 2002. Okay. Let's turn to page 16. Objection. Lack of foundation. Follow up with this. Judge, he has not testified that he is familiar with this document or recognizes it or has ever seen it in go. any way. Do you see where it says location assistant? Yes. Okay. And if you go down, it has Object your to name this. specifically on there. Does it not say Keenan Wyatt? Yes. Okay. And on Along. this particular one, it has Sam Sarker and Keenan Wyatt. Do you see that? Yes. But eventually it just became Keenan Wyatt and all the contracts, right? I do not know. I don't know. Okay. And then as part of this, in each of Mr. Depp's contracts, they should have really they should have objected what to this you were more. Get paid, Object correct? to this. Object. I don't know what's in his contract. Okay. Well on this lack one, of foundation. Object. Fourteen twenty eight per hour, correct? Lack lack of foundation, Your Honor. Right. He does not know. Well he doesn't He's, know this contract. If you want to uh, frame okay. it, it's a different question. Well, you on every one of his contracts had an hourly rate and a guarantee of at least 60 hours a week, right? I All don't know. Speculation, like a foundation. Uh, surely he has to know how he was getting paid. On if these. you want to ask that question. Do, do you know how you were getting paid on each of these films? Yes. Okay. I and, get paid through a payroll company from the production companies. Okay. And these were all negotiated by Mr. Depp, correct? I have no, no idea. I'm, his I'm company. paid by the, uh, the union sets the rate for me. Right, but you're aware that Mr. Depp has negotiated it and put you into his contract. Lack correct? of foundation calls for speculation. I can, I, I, I'll, I'll allow it, that answer if you can answer. How are you allowing this? Well, sorry. You want to ask you're aware, the question again? Okay. You're aware that Mr. Depp has put you into each of his contracts, no. including how much you get paid and well, all of your perks, right? I see it here, but um, when I'm hired by a production company, I get paid by the production company at my union rate for the job that I'm doing. That's not the rate I make when I'm working on a production. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's uh, l let's stay in this one just for a minute, and then we'll take a look at a couple more because you ended up with a lot higher rate pretty soon. Um, but you also had your airfare paid for, correct, for travel? Yes. You also were put up in the same hotel as Mr. Depp if he was in a hotel, correct? Uh not necessarily all the time. Right. And if he was in a house, then you got a comparable hotel close by, right? I got a place to stay wherever we were filming, yes. And it was comparable. <laughs> comparable to Johnny's? It was, it, no. it, was a, it was a positive. It was a, a nice hotel, wasn't it? Um, yeah. I mean, productions, we usually stayed at nice hotels. He demolishes other narratives, too, one of them being an incident that certain person alleges. We'll talk about that in another video, but let me know what you think about this. Check out our book, too. Link is in the description. This is our way of fighting back against industry that does not support you as a customer. Leave that. Walk towards something else. And also, I want to thank you for being here. Appreciate you ending here. Thank you.